So this is a quick look at our, what our setup kind of looks like when we film videos. So if I'm getting things set up, like I got, well, there's Lobo. If I'm getting like his, um, sometimes we use this to like hold the camera. I got his cosplays over here. If I'm getting all this set up, um, I usually keep them in here. Mostly cause, um, I mean, it's pretty clear out there, but you never know if there's anything out there. Sometimes we get cats that go up on the roof, uh, raccoons, sometimes they'll walk through, through that part. And so we try to make sure he's safe. So we usually put him in this pet carrier. Inside, there's plenty of room for him. He can lay down if he wants. Put a little puppy pad down there in case he wants to poop. Uh, and then a lot of the scenes nowadays, we're using this chair. So I'll show you guys in a little bit kind of what that might look like. So this pet carrier is pretty convenient. It's pretty easy to use. There's like a little button here. Goes up. Um, there he is. Uh, if you want to, if we have like a dog or something, you can go ahead and tie this up to it. See? Um, and if you're taking it to a car seat, there's like little straps right here so you can buckle it in. So, um, for example, if I want to shoot a video right there, just go ahead and grab them. Move them to where I need to put them. Shoot the video, whatever I need to do. And then once I'm done, as you can see, it poops there. So if I put the puppy pad, I don't got to worry about really cleaning the pet carry too much. But let's say I'm done, shoot the video. Let's go ahead and get them. Carefully. Help them in, close it up, see, very carefully. See, make sure that his beak is not through there. See, watch, see, 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 make sure it's not through there. Now that it's completely, he's clear of it, you can close it down. That's it, and he's just chilling.